Yesterday it was announced that Bo Bergdahl, the one time, and I'm using air quotes right now because everything is, well, there's going to be hearing, the one time POW who has questions surrounding his 2009 abandonment of his post in Afghanistan would be charged with desertion. This is a man who may have endangered or caused the deaths of fellow soldiers through his attempts to, I mean, who knows what he was attempting, and, and he abandoned his post. He abandoned his brothers in arms. Sergeant Matt Vierkant, team leader in Bergdahl's platoon, joins me now to give his reaction to the news. Uh, thank you so much for your service. Thank you, uh, Matt, for joining us today. Your reaction to the news of the charges being brought against Bo Bergdahl yesterday? Um, I, it was kind of unbelievable. I mean, it just came out of nowhere. All of a sudden, I was uh, sitting in my kitchen, and I got a couple texts and asked if I had seen the news, and when I looked at the news and see anything, then I went to Twitter, and it was all over Twitter, and I was just kind of dumbfounded, and elated that finally uh, making another step in the right direction. Yeah, and it, t it did take a long time. And obviously when we when we were talking to uh, some in, in the military and some attorneys, they were saying, well, and it's likely due to political pressure that we saw this happen. But from the very beginning, um, uh, veterans like yourself, uh, people who were there with him were really sounding the alarm. They were saying, no, y y America can't buy the story. They cannot buy the story of a false hero. We know better than the bureaucrats who are in Washington, D.C. as to what actually happened. When, and, and I realize that, you're, you, that you can't obviously explain everything that happened when, you know, when it was discovered that Bo Bergdahl disappeared, but was there any doubt in your mind from the very beginning that, well, maybe he was legitimately captured, or did you just know that, no, this dude took off? Uh, without a doubt, my mind, as soon as I found out that he was missing, um, before we even done, did our initial search of the outer area around our um, outpost, I knew that he was gone just from his mannerisms, uh, his character, how he carried himself, things that he had done leading up to that point. I just knew right away that he was gone, and so did pretty much everybody else in the platoon. Um, there was without a doubt that he walked off and he deserted. So he didn't seem as though he was happy in his service? Uh, not necessarily that. It was just um, his comments on different things about technology or um, saying that he could get lost in the mountains of Af Afghanistan uh, probably about two or three weeks prior to this um, and just things that he did while he was there it was just uh, off the norm of what other soldiers would do or say mm. not necessarily you know a clue to oh hey I'm gonna leave all my stuff and walk out because who thinks that someone's gonna do that you know right. but I mean definitely uh, you know hindsight 2020 Oh, yeah, I mean, we can see that now that, you know, those are indicators. And we thought that those were indicators of, you know, being a little bit different or whatever, but to each their own, you know. Right. And it makes sense in hindsight after something like this happens, then you say, well, well, there was there's some clues right here because you don't automatically assume that of, of someone. I mean, it's such a rare instance uh, that you don't you don't assume that of someone when um, when when this after this happened, um, there there was a lot of discussion um, in in the press as well, sort of about the character of um, some of the men who had served in the platoon, as though well they were bullies and that's why Bo Bergdahl uh, ran off or that's why he left. Um, it was widely discussed on on CBS and MSNBC. Uh, what do you think of, of of speculation like that? Well, you know when you back a rabid dog into a corner, they're going to try to fight, and I think it was kind of to the point where they knew that they had made a mistake by trading five prisoners um, for a bird doll. It's mm -hmm. like taking five rotten apples and trading it for a rotten orange. I mean, it just doesn't make sense.